Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, Monday, the 18th of December, getting closer and closer to wrapping up the month. The 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network uh, update says the Dow futures up 66 at 37,277. The E-mini, that's the S&P E-mini, <clears throat> is up 15 at 47.83. The NQ, which is the NASDAQ futures, uh, up 34 at 16,854. Hasn't quite taken out the high that was made on Friday. The IWM, that's the Russell 2000. I'll go to the uh, futures right now. Up 7.90 at 2010. I'll just do this um, IWM. Yeah, that did make a peak F uh, on Friday. We're looking at the uh, gold contract. The gold contract is up 4.5. At 2050, kind of down in the lower range, uh, but coming off the 200 period moving average, which is important. The dollar, in the meantime, the dollar is trading. Uh, let's see where that is. Down 16 ticks at 102.44. Trying to hold that uh, inside track. This is the this is a really important uh, support line that it's got. The 101s, it's trading at 102.45. We're looking at the uh, bonds, U.S. bonds. Here we go. U.S. bonds are down almost a half a point <clears throat> at 123.5. Hmm. This is going to be interesting because uh, the little candlestick patterns that we're forming, I'm going to be talking about this uh, coming up in the next hour. Actually, the next two hours, the next hour, I'll be doing the uh, Tommy O'Brien show. That will be the uh, morning market kickoff. So with that said, let's just look at the high-grade cop. I want to see how that's doing. That's down a little bit. Uh, just above the 200 period moving average, kind of stalling here. And there was a spectacular move in the HGX. The HGX is the um, Philadelphia Housing Sector Index. It just screamed to a new all time high on Friday. Wow, this does look a little toppy. Um, and we'll talk about that as well. That doesn't mean to say, oh, it's going to turn around and just smash the downside. It does say, Maybe it's ready for a little bit of a consolidation, and that might mean that rates just on a very short term, maybe they pop a little bit. We'll see. I'll be back in a few moments for the morning market kickoff, then I'll do my show, the Tiger Technician's Hour. Don't forget on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, I'll be doing my webinar for my subscribers. This is looking at sectors that are lagging, stocks that are lagging, which could do quite nicely in the first quarter of 2024. I'll be back in a moment.